What's poppin' and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have a quick, fun, exciting mission. We'll be building a website. Here's the deal. All cool people have a website and we want to be a cool people people, person, we want to be a cool person so we need a website as well and soon we're gonna be asking people to sign up or maybe we'll run some ads for example we'll ask them to sign up for a beta test I think we're gonna to try to make like a quite a large beta test so get like 50 or something random users that we we do ads and we get them to sign up with their email and then we email them a beta test link for example and also just people who maybe want to sign up and be aware of when the app itself drops and also because it's fun and quite cool to have a website and I think everyone needs to have one. So with that said, I think we're gonna be hopping on to GoDaddy, which sounds quite funny, and build a WordPress site. It shouldn't take too long, it's gonna be the mission of the day. So let's get to it. So I hopped over to GoDaddy.com and I started looking at their different hosting alternatives. I picked the best, no, I'm just kidding. I picked the cheapest one being the cheapskate that I am. And it costs 39 Swedish crowns per month. And I think if you only took it for a year, it costs 49. Which is, you know, decent deal, not too bad. I, that turned out to be 588 Swedish crowns in total. And then they slapped some unexpected tax on there. I thought it was a US company, but apparently they have some kind of registered entity in Europe as well. Which means that you need to pay VAT. Oh well. So I did that. I paid 788 in total and I was meant to get an SSL certificate as well as a domain name. As you'll see later, I never ended up getting a domain and since I had to call the customer service and I couldn't chat with them, I ended up just buying a new one. So good on you, GoDaddy. You won that one. I used Elementor. Uh, I used Elementor quite a few times. I probably built like 10 to 12 websites in my days and I've used Elementor for all of them. So I'm quite familiar with how to use it. Now it's been quite a while since I built uh, a website last. It was probably been a year or something like that. I've done some maintenance on some of the websites that I've worked on previously, but I've never really, uh, or I haven't really built one from scratch in a long time. Luckily with Elementor, it's really simple and there are a lot of different templates you can use. For example, now I use the one called Starter Packs from WP Astra, which is quite good. And I got some ad for one called Templately as well, which I tried in the beginning and I probably wasted half an hour trying to get this one to work. It looked quite good and it looked like there were some really nice templates, but it never turned out to work. So that turned out to be a waste of time. So if you're looking for a very simple template, don't use Templately. Use WP Astra Starter Pack. It's really good and there are a lot of ones to choose from. So I picked one which was meant for a fitness mobile app and I thought, you know, mobile app, we might as well go down the same route and it looked quite good to begin with with different colors. I just had to change the color scheme a little bit. So I played around with that and I had to make some new photos, etc., for the screenshots and all that. So I ended up having to change the format of the logo. I had, I had to run the simulation on the device on the screen again. And I had to get some screenshots of the app itself. And I also had to change some of the saga names from Test Saga to Rapunzel, for example, just to make the screenshots look a little bit more realistic. And also just to show that, you know, we're a bit further along than it actually seems if we just have test one, test two, test three. Because now we're starting to actually get uh, actual saga, so that's really good. I worked on this for maybe two hours. No, that's probably an exaggeration. An hour and a half doesn't take too long. It's quite simple to build a website, especially when you're using WordPress and Elementor. It turned out to be quite uh, quite good. I had some challenges with because I didn't buy I didn't buy Elementor Pro. I just got the basic version. So I had some troubles building like the header and the footer because for those ones to make them customized according to Elementor, you need to have Elementor Pro. But since I don't have that one, I have to use the basic WordPress one and I never really used that one before. Most of the times I buy Elementor Pro since my I do it for other people and their budget typically is a little bit higher than the one I have right now. But it turned out to be good anyway and I was quite happy with, uh, uh, with the outcome. I then at the end of video I added some nice animations to the screen. So now when you look at the website and you enter it, it looks like this. You hop onto the website, it's got that icon, you know, it's got an SSL, you got a lock up left, you see a little animation coming from left to right and right to left. You have the images sliding in and it's just a one scroll website, quite a simple one, one page, no scrolling, no different pages. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it, it turned out to, to be very good. 
So with that said, uh, that was a quick little mission of the day. We built a website. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.